Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I just wanted to show you another tower site that I discovered that had 15 megahertz of band 2 and band 4, as you can see. So let's go ahead and run some speed tests, see what kind of speeds we get here. <clears throat> Definitely good to see more of these sites popping up. Also, if you like the... Uh, the speed test comparison that I did in Las Cruces, let me know if you want to see more of those. Um, <clears throat> give me feedback. I did a I did a mall, a shopping center, and then a Walmart. You know, I I thought those would be good to, to check it out there as far as you know capacity and congestion, you know, how how the networks are performing in busy areas. Um, let me know if you want to see me maybe do like, you know, inside the building see how the networks are performing now I did say I was gonna travel you know to Houston Phoenix Albuquerque and of course it's not gonna happen all tomorrow it's gonna happen over time and you know I'll upload these you know as soon as I do these tests to let you guys know like hey you know what I did the tests I'm ready here they are you know I don't hold nothing back I'm not going to wait three weeks to post these tests, you know, uh, just to show you guys real world experiences that I'm having. I know there's a lot of testing firms and a lot of averages, but I like to do more of real world stuff. So as you can see, the site here is putting out pretty good speeds. And I know I'm in, I'm in a very good uh, signal strength. I'm very close to the tower. So just wanted to show you what what these towers are putting out at 7:30. I'm in a bit I'm in a busy area. You know, Sunday night football. There's an Applebee's around the corner, Chili's, CC's Pizza, so there's a lot of people out and about right now. And as you can see, 73, 60, 50. So speeds are pretty consistent on this tower. So but do keep in mind I'm pretty close to I'm pretty close to the tower. I'm in very good signal strength. So yeah, but let me know um, if you really, if you really like that series. I did four parts. If you want if you want me to do more parts as far as inside of buildings, you know maybe further away from the tower at a at a, at a higher signal strength. Just you know just to see the differences. Um, you know I I I gotta admit it. Sprint did pretty good in Las Cruces on just band 25 um, I did see one of your comments say um, that's because not a lot of Sprint users are on that tower or in, in that market yeah could be true but you know I I'm not gonna bash him for that you know if if I was living in that market I probably would keep Sprint you know I wouldn't have T-Mobile you know so <clears throat> definitely keep that in mind um, I got a lot more stuff coming up for you guys. Uh, more speed tests, more uh, you know, more vlogs, more discussions. Um, I also got some some video games coming up, as you've seen in my other video. Um, I'm 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 leaning towards buying both for the PS4 Pro, and the Xbox One Slim. It's just there. There's a really good deal. I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a really good deal with this Xbox One S. There is a deal for $299 where you get five games plus an extra controller, which I think that's a really good deal. Uh, I haven't seen a good deal yet with the PS4 Pro. It's $399, one controller, no games. Maybe for the holiday season, you know, they'll bundle it up with some games. But as you can see, speeds are pretty good in that tower. I'm going to move away a little bit <clears throat> from that tower. Just to see if speeds are still going to hold up. So you yeah, also give me feedback. Don't, don't be, you know, don't feel bad. I like constructive criticism. That's how I get better. And that's how you guys get better content. And, um, and also, I did, uh, I did record the videos of the... Uh, of the series on Las Cruces with a iPhone 6. Um, I didn't do this, the screen recorder because I wanted you guys to actually see that I was recording in Las Cruces because 
if if I would have just screen recorded it, I could have been in El Paso and telling you guys that I'm in Las Cruces, you know. So I really wanted you guys to see, it, and that's why I stopped on the side of I-25 and and, and uh, uh, captured the captures it saying that, that I was getting ready to hit Las Cruces. So and I'll be doing the same thing for the Phoenix, for the for the Houston one, Dallas. I got a buddy of mine that stays out there, so I'll be hitting up those cities. And as you can see now, I'm further away from the tower, so we'll see if speeds are still holding up. Just to, you know, just to, yeah, speeds are still pretty good, even a little further away from the tower, so it's a pretty good area. Um, like I said, there's a Walmart, there's a there's a Whataburger, Denny's, CC's, it's a pretty busy area, so. Yeah, so I got a lot more stuff coming up uh, for you guys, you know. Just want you guys to be able to enjoy the content and really um really get you know some information really you know if you guys are contemplating about switching you know let me know in the comment section i'll check the area out for you if you if you're just paying too much a month you know just let me know we'll get to the bottom of it you know and it might not it, you know it might not necessarily be t-mobile in your market it might be sprint that's better you know sprint has been stepping it up um, I have a video. I have another video releasing on Tuesday that I'm still getting uh, information from. But just to give you guys a little hint, um, the small cells are not really working out for Sprint. They have the mobility has sold Sprint on a product that they really can't deliver. And I'm not talking about you know the small cells itself. I'm talking about as far as a nationwide rollout as fast as Sprint was told is not going to happen. So. I'll give you more info on that and as to why. And and of course, you know, always keep it real 100 on the channel. I never want to tell you guys no BS. You know, so I appreciate all you guys and your support. You know, going forward, we have some big things coming up. I'm looking at, a, you know, collapse, um, maybe a podcast with some of my buddies so just real info you know it's just a lot of information for you guys because phone bills are, are are getting expensive oh, snap. didn't want that to happen phone bills are getting expensive and it's 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 making an investment so and even prepaid you know if you got any questions about prepaid let me know you know i will get another line to where you guys can actually call me if you need to we can schedule some type of, uh, you know, meeting over the phone or whatever. Because also a lot of these, uh, a lot of these reps inside of, of stores, they will lie to you. They will, they will straight up lie to you. Yeah, um, you know what? Uh, I just checked my system. We have excellent service out there. And you actually get the service and you, you go to your home area or to the area that you were looking up and there's no service. So... You know, they do that a lot. You know, you go into a store. We have the number one network in the, in the city. You know, most of the time they just lie to make the sale. And that's, you know, in most cases, that's everywhere. But I've noticed that inside of uh, cell, cell phone stores, it's, it's getting quite a bit. It's getting quite a bit bad. So definitely just looking out for you guys. I used to work for Radio Shack. So I'm already familiar with... Um, with all the different vendors we used to sell sprint verizon at&t we stopped selling t-mobile because they started you know offering no contracts and all that stuff and we weren't able to keep up with that but i've had training with all three different vendors um you know so i'm familiar with with the environment now i've know the plans have changed uh, some of the policies have changed but i am pretty familiar with uh, with how it goes so definitely let me know have any problems with getting back to you guys you know i will reply to each and every one of you you know if the channel grows bigger i will hire somebody to, for just that of course the answers will still be given by me i'll just have somebody else type them out you know whatever is necessary you know for you guys to uh to get great content and you know just very informative you know staying ahead of the game and I know some of you guys, you don't have social media, you don't have, uh, you don't have time to be really like digging into it. That's why I'm here. So I just wanted to uh, 
do that for you guys. Because I've seen a lot of people BS starting with uh, with my own family. You know, they were BS into the family plan. They thought it was something completely different and ended up not being. So I just wanted to really get into this for you guys. Uh, I hope I've helped some of you guys out already. Uh, I mean, I don't have the, I don't have the exact same tools as like say as an employee from a certain carrier but you know I still have friends that work for these carriers that used to be vendors so they have additional information that most people don't have so yeah so I just wanted to make this this video and you know this is more like a conclusion video for the day I had made all these videos earlier today I drove to Las Cruces made these videos you know maybe there's somebody YouTube that is from Las Cruces that could take advantage of that you know some of you guys just showing you what performance is like in other markets you know so definitely hope you guys enjoy this content you know like share and subscribe uh, comment in the comment section down below if you need anything and this is Tyrone with Tech Life I hope you guys have a good night